Our trip through France, of which I already showed you two videos, continued and we went up to the Côte de Granit House, where I wanted to photograph the famous lighthouse of Plumana. When photographing such a popular location, the only chance to come away with a great photo is to get some special light, and the day we arrived it didn't look like this would happen because of deep coastal clouds that took away all color from the landscape. Here in sunset it didn't look much different, but I went to the lighthouse anyway, just in case. And it was a good decision, because just as I arrived on location, the clouds lifted just a bit to let the sun peek through. The display of light that commenced at sunset was one of the best I have seen in a long time and I'm very pleased with the resulting photo. Do you know those days where you have that stripe of light at the horizon but it's just a little bit too far to the right or too far to the left? I think this morning is such a day because the sun will be up just over there. So just to the right of this bright streak of light there. So if this one was a bit farther to the side I would already have some light here in the sky but as it is I just have a gray sky, then a small band of light at the horizon and yeah, not the light I wanted. So I'm gonna stick around as usual, just waiting maybe this band of light or this gap at the horizon moves a bit farther to the right, then the sun would break through and I would get beautiful light here. Otherwise, uh, I think I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. But anyways, let's look at the scene before me. What a beautiful scene it is. So we have those granite rocks here and also this big mountain in the background. And in the foreground, what I have here, there's some darker rocks. So some nearly black rocks with some smaller rocks and stones in beneath. So a beautiful contrast. So you have the black with the yellow and orange and you have the red. And then, yeah, we have a bland sky, but yeah, maybe tomorrow. So that's definitely a good composition. Also, I have to be a bit careful because as you can see, the tide's rushing in. When I started shooting half an hour ago, those stones there in the background, they weren't submerged yet. Now they are submerged. So my composition will be gone very soon. So tomorrow, I think I'm gonna have 20 more minutes. So the tide will be out a little longer. Uh, yeah, but this morning I just have to try my best to get the shot with the conditions. So at least a decent photo just to show you what I had in mind uh, and maybe tomorrow a real photo. Good evening to another day here at the coast. So this evening I'm gonna try to photograph this scene there, the famous lighthouse and what you see behind me. I'm not the only one taking photos here this evening but I already scouted this spot yesterday evening so I'm right here in the front row and yeah hopefully if you look at those clouds there are some high clouds over there and if those catch some light after sunset this is gonna be a nice evening. Otherwise uh, that's my last attempt, so I already photographed the scene yesterday, so I got one photo which is quite okay. But yeah, I really want a photo from this perspective here with some beautiful clouds lighting up behind the lighthouse. And yeah, this is what we're gonna do now. 
gonna wait half an hour or more. I have the castle filters in front of the lens, so a soft grad to just darken the sky a touch, a polarizer to give me yeah, some more definition in the water, and yeah, then the cable release to time my shot, so I don't use a two second uh, timer here. I just want to release when the waves rush in to make sure I get the wave action. And yeah, everything else is just waiting, taking many photos and then selecting the best ones. So wish me luck. Today we drove on towards Cap Frejel, where another famous lighthouse is located. We spent two nights at the Cap Frejel campsite and on the first night I already got some pretty decent light at the lighthouse. With the coastal flowers in full bloom the conditions were just perfect. So the second night I went out to photograph the Milky Way over one of the beautiful beaches in front of our campground. So I think it's time to wrap things up here in France. So this is the last evening where I'm doing photography. Tomorrow we're starting our drive home, which will take two days. And as you can see behind me, I'm at Mont Saint-Michel and yeah, it's sunset. No clouds, unfortunately. So yeah, also yesterday there were no more clouds. I didn't film that much anymore, but still I just had to take a photo of this beautiful um, piece of architecture. It's just stunning, especially if you get closer. It's so huge. We went on a tour through it and yeah, it's really worth with it, but it's also very crowded. So in times of COVID, not the best place, I think, but yeah, at least uh, masks were mandatory. <laughs> so it was okay. But now I felt like coming to a more secluded spot, which is, yeah, where I'm alone basically. And yeah, I used Google Maps to just check for some of those dried up riverbeds. Uh, it's not really riverbeds, so when the flood comes in, those fill up with water. And um, yeah, knowing the tides is essential here. And this evening it's still low tide, so tides coming in, but it's at least two hours until this uh, section here has water again, in my estimation. <laughs> and that's why I can photograph it. And I found those nice patterns here, which I have in the foreground. Unfortunately, I can't get very low. This would also look nice getting very close to those patterns, but then I lose a lot of uh, uh, Mount Saint-Michel in the background. So I'm doing quite of a compromise here. So basically um, I'm quite high, still have those patterns in the foreground and then Saint Mike, uh, the Michael's Mount and the sun setting behind it. And what I'm gonna do now is just wait a little bit longer. Hopefully the yeah, buildings there will light up after sunset and I'll get some beautiful light there, some beautiful blue hour. Um, even some yeah, slight clouds seem to appear there, but I'm not sure if they're gonna be visible later. 
um, we'll just see and yeah hope you like this video i'm gonna show you the photos also tomorrow morning i might head out here just take the same photo with some stars i was also scouting some place where i can have the milky way behind um, the Mount San Michel but there the foreground isn't so nice so uh, I think I'm just gonna do a normal uh, star shot just have to check which stars will be behind the mount and yeah then we'll see what I get so yeah see you in the next video bye